Hello guys, welcome to the official channel of Piratera. Today we're gonna show you some basic rules to set up an effective lineup and some easy formations so that you can get a really good head start. In the most basic lineup, it is highly recommended to have sailors that are damage carry, tanker, and enchanter. Of course, these positions can be flexible, but this rule is mostly safe and effective. Damage carry plays an important role in dealing damage with high speed, great attack, and powerful skills. Some familiar names for these positions are Michik, Jenkins, and Yuchik, dealing physical damage, or Kyuchi, Bill, and Roti for magical damage. To maximize the carry's power, we need some solid defenders in the team. Sailors with high health and resistances will protect the carry who is extremely squishy and vulnerable. Normally, they will be placed in the first column to protect other allies. If there are backstabbers in the opponent team, putting a tanker in the last column is what should be done to protect our carry. For the defender, Tad, Healthy, Alex, or Scrub will be the good choices. Finally, we have Enchanters. They are sailors that can heal or buff power, speed, and also manner for allies. Some of the most notable names are Sojef, Luhi, or Gandalf. I have a small advice for you guys. You had better match the same class sailors to activate as many class bonuses as possible. Class bonus will boost power, health, speed, or resistance of your sailor. A battle formation with 5 sailors but with 6 class bonuses is absolutely possible. When entering the game, a squad has maximum 5 slots to play, but there are up to 9 positions to arrange them. Before going details, I would like to emphasize that these are only a few of my suggestions for lineup. You can freely use any sellers that best suit you. So, without any further ado, let's get started! The first lineup that is highly recommended to you is the Kyuchi Carry. Kyuchi as the damage carry, Healthy and Tad the tankers, Gandalf and Luhi the enchanters. Kyuchi can fire death power forward, dealing damage to all enemies in the front row, so placing Kyuchi in the middle is suitable. For tankers, I chose Healthy and Tad, two mighty sailors, to activate the class bonus, increase the base health of these allies. Study sailors are preferred for these positions to give carry more time to do damage. Since Gandalf can buff the speed and the power for the ally in the front, it's better to put her behind Kyuchi. Plus, Gandalf and Kyuchi could activate the mage class, increasing their power. Finally, as Luhi can heal herself and her nearby allies in the cross-shaped area, placing her between Tad and Healthy and in front of Kyuchi is the best choice. So by this way, I could maximize power of this bloom pixie. Another advantage of Lily is to activate two more classes, Wild and Support. These create a defending wall to block damage and boost off healing. Only 5 slots but 4 classes have been activated. Now you get a tip to optimize your squad. You can also replace Roti or Bill for Kyuchi. Both are very compatible. However, Bill is a strong SR sailor, quite rare, so in the video I prefer a more familiar one. Kyuchi, an A rarity sailor with a very reasonable price on the marketplace. With Roti, despite a powerful damage, his fighting style relies too much on luck, so you can consider to make your options. Of course, there will be light ups exclusively for Roti. If you want me to make more videos sharing details about this, please leave the comment below. Now, let's fire off the battlefield and check out the result. The opponent has only 4 sailors, but still can cause difficulties for my team. Roti is damage carry with a quality of 200, ultimately high. Roti gets his speed and fury buffed by Gandalf, 
This is a combo that can wipe out any single enemy sailor. For defenders, they have Alex and Scrub. Activate the Knight class to increase their armor. To be honest, it's hard to find any weakness of this team. So I can win? One way to find out. Let's get started! All members receive 10 mana thanks to support class. Gandalf has buffed mana for Kuchi, so now Kuchi could use his skill and deals great damage to the enemy squad at the very beginning of the battle. Liu Yi has gained enough mana to activate the healing skill for allies in the cross-shaped area, so now Kuchi, Tad, and Healthy can stay strong. Well, nice! I won and got 224 berry. The number of berry includes the reward, excellent, difficulty, and team bonus. If you want to know how to optimize the reward, let's look forward to our next videos. Continue with the second lineup today. If you are into high speed, don't miss out the Moxman class with ability to do massive damage. Let's cover with the Michik carry squad, including Michik, Herminia, Alex, Scrub, and Kamijita. This time, instead of Mage, I will build a squad around Michik, a Moxman and Gunpowder Sailor that deals tons of physical damage. For the tank, Alex and Scrub will be placed in the front line to cover the carry behind. Don't jump into conclusions. Alex might be a B reality sailor, but has a good fighting ability and can heal himself too. When play with Scrub, the Knight class will be activated and increase their armor, blocking physical damage. For the enchanter, Kamijita, go with Scrub to activate Sea Creature class to help my team have more magical resistance. This is especially great when countering the rival team with too many mages. Finally, just add Herminia and we have completed the team. Herminia can defeat tanky sailors easily. The matching between Michik and Herminia could activate the Moxman class, increase their damage based on distance to the enemy. For extra options, you can choose Liu He or So Jeff over Kamijita. So Chef is considered an annoying sailor for opponents with ability to heal allies and do massive damage. Or if you are interested in attacking, Yuchik is absolutely a good choice. While on this match, the opponent has 3 roti causing crazy massive destruction and being protected by 2 Alex. Although seems to be strong, these sailors do not grant any class bonus. This is a weakness of them. One point that gives me more confidence is that, thanks to the sea creature class of my team, the team's magical resistance has increased a lot. No more waiting, let's jump into the game. Michi's cleave damage works best in the narrow squad like this. This is why I need a strong team to extend time for Michik to gain mana and use her skill. With only one turn, HP of enemies has reduced a lot. When I got 196 berry! So, those are some of my suggestions for you to choose the lineup and how to optimize the strength of each sailor. Of course, you can use any sailors you want. These are just what I'd like to introduce you guys today. A note for you, when arranging the squad, don't forget to analyze the opponent to choose your sailors countering them. If you have not owned any sailor yet or want to upgrade your crew, please visit the marketplace at marketplace.piratera.io. Let us know who is your favorite sailors in the comment below. 
if you have any questions or want me to make videos about any specific topics, don't hesitate to share them with us. If you find this video interesting, don't forget to subscribe our channel, hit the bell button to receive notifications for the next videos, follow us on other channels in the description box. Thanks for watching, goodbye and see you on the next drop.